Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helge Maus from Pixel Train and this here is another part of our series Blender for Production. This time we want to talk about another production helper which will boost your efficiency in your daily work a lot, the Quick Favorites menu. I'm really surprised that I found out that many Blender users don't know about this menu and for beginners inside of Blender this will help you a lot because if you need the same function inside of Blender over and over again for this I typically make a quick favorites menu and you don't need to buy add-ons for that. So let's get started with that. I have a really simple scene here with this really nice Vespa here. Thanks a lot to the Botanic guys to make this great model here. And what's the quick favorite menu? If you press the Q key over your viewport, you will see that here is a quick favorites menu. And you see that I have filled here some of the most important functions which I need over and over again inside of Blender into this quick favorites menu. You see that I have here a switch where I can switch on and off the wireframe really easily. And I also have the shadowing which helps me here inside of the modeling context. So let's switch here to solid mode. To make this clear, you see if I'm normally looking at a model here, you see that this model here, yeah, doesn't show any shadowing because we are here in solid mode. But there's an option for that inside of the shading options and I can switch it on and off here. And this shadowing, by the way, has nothing to do with the lighting of your scene. So to demonstrate that here is a sunlight which is placed if you go a little bit outside here, here from the left top here, but the shadow goes here into the opposite direction. So this is only a modeling helper. And this is something I can switch on and off here. Also, while I'm modeling hard surface models, I really often activate cavities, which bring here these edges a little bit more into the foreground. You see, this is something I do here with this menu. What I also have in this menu is a helper, which is named lock camera to view. So you know if I'm switching to a camera, you can do that by tapping the Siri key on your numpad or clicking here, this little icon. I'm now inside of the camera lock, but if I now move myself, you see I drop out of the camera. So this is a normal function inside of Blender because they don't want that you by accident move your cameras which you have placed with a lot of work. But this can be also really annoying if you want to place yourself as a camera around. And for this you normally have to press the N key here for the N menu, then you have to go here to view and here under the view options there is this camera to view option. And instead of going there and doing it over and over again, I have it here in my quick favorites. So if I click here now lock camera to view, you see that this tick here is now set and now I can place myself as a camera here. I press the Q key like quick favorites again, deactivate that and now the behavior is back to Blender normal. So you see, this is a really cool way of working if you need functions over and over again. So let's talk about how you can do that. The first thing is Every quick favorites menu is specific to the mode which you're in. So you have seen now the quick favorites here from an object mode. If I later switch over to, for example, let's select this guy here and I go here to edit mode, you will see that if I now press the quick favorites menu, it seems the same, but it isn't. You see, I have here another option, fade inactive objects here in this menu because this is something I use a lot while I'm modeling. So let's go back here to object mode and now talk about how to bring a function into this quick favorites menu. And to do that, I first remove something from the quick favorites menu. So I press the Q key and I want to show you, for example, how to bring the lock camera to view into that. So I make a right mouse button click in the quick favorites menu. This is something you have to remember if you have a function there which you want to remove later. So right mouse button click remove from quick favorites here. And another way of doing that is if you have, for example, let's go here, the shadowing which I showed you before. This is something you want to remove instead of making here the remove. What you can do is in the original function which is found here in the shading options. So I'm here in the viewport shading. I click here this drop down, and you see here is the shadowing. And I added it from here. So make a right mouse button click here and you see if something is in the quick favorites menu, 
you can say here, remove it from the quick favorites menu. So that's the same here. And now you see it's gone. So let's add now these options here. And this is quite easy for you. So if you find something in your tool set, which you want to add, you see at the moment, we don't have the camera to view lock in that. Go over the option, which is here, for example, in the end menu, under view, in the view section, camera to view, make a right mouse button click here. And here you see, you can add something now to the quick favorites menu, or you also can assign a shortcut, which is another topic. So add to quick favorites, click, that's it. Now it's part of that. And now you can toggle it on and off from here. And the same thing now for the shadowing. I go here, I want to have my shadows back. So right mouse button, click here, add to quick favorites. And now this is in here. Same I've done with the cavity. You see it's inside of the quick favorites. So we only have the remove here and so on. And I also have the wireframe where I have found that. You see, this is something here from the overlays. You see here is the wireframe option. Right mouse button, click here on this little tick and add it if you need that to the quick favorites or remove it from here. So that's the whole idea how this quick favorites menu works. And let's go only to bring that home here to the modeling section here because I want to show you another cool trick and also something which I have in my quick favorites menu. You see that this Vespa here is made from three different meshes. And you know from the basics inside of Blender that you normally can work only with one mesh. Yes, what's possible is that you can select more than one mesh, go to edit mode, and then you can switch through the meshes, but you always work in one mesh at a time. But what if you are now inside of a mesh and you want to switch over, for example, to the tires? What you can do is you can search here the right one by clicking here onto these dots. But there's a faster way in Blender, which is a keyboard shortcut, which is Alt Q. You see, if you hold down Alt Q and you hover with your mouse over the object in which you want to switch, you see that Blender is switching now around the whole thing. And this is a keyboard shortcut I use a lot. But what's also really clever then, if you're, for example, now here and you don't have, for example, wireframe active. So let's go out here again and say, I want, for example, now to work in the tires. I go in here into this mode. Now I want to switch over. Sometimes I don't really see what's going on where I'm working. To make this easier, the Blender guys have more options if you are in edit mode. So if you are in edit mode and you go back here into the same menu, the overlays, you see that you have a lot more options now here. And one of these options, which I found extremely useful is fade inactive geometry here. So if you tick that, you will see that all the other objects are fading away a little bit. You can configure that here with this slider, how much you want to do that. And let's say, yeah, 80% or so, and then make a right mouse button click and say, I want to also add this to the quick favorites. So this is the way I normally work. Maybe face orientation is also something you want to add. And now if you press now Q, you can say, I want to see the face orientation. You see the flip faces here. And with Alt Q, you can now go into different objects here. And in the moment you do that, you see all the rest fades away here. So that's the way the quick favorites menu works. I hope this helps you in your daily work. If you like these kinds of tutorials and these tips, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support me on my journey to helping other people with Blender and other free software, consider becoming a patron. So that's it for today. Have a great day. Have fun. Helga Maus.